Let's let's do some Mardu fun, huh? Mardu enchantments. Ruinous ultimatum. Destroy all non-land permanents your opponent controls. Yes. Finish deck. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. One-sided sweeper feels really good. Hmm. Maybe we might we might run the Outlaws of Merriment, because why wouldn't we? We have twenty four land. I actually only think I'll need twenty five, especially if I run the birth of Miletus. And try to lean a little harder into the white and the black, and a little bit less hard into the red. Extinction event. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, and then we also have Cry of the Carnarium. Some Heartless Act is like really good. Destroy target creature with no counters. That one's pretty pretty great. But we 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 really kind of want to lean towards the sweepery deepery dues. Excellent. Excellent. I'm really, really glad you're here, Bricktop Games, man. I, you know, especially given that I feel like we're all having a bit of a hard time right now. I think we're all having a bit of a toughy of a little bit of timey. Um, I think it's just wonderful that people are being so supportive and so great. You're being great to me. You're being great to each other. A lot of you are helping me through my little bit of tough time, frankly. Um, you're just all wonderful. So thanks. Fuck yeah. Ethereal Absolution, I kind of like as a card. We have access to like a shitload of sweepers, man. A way to return things from the graveyard back up. This guy doesn't have lifelink, which does. Which just fucking sucks. Fuck. Probably Kaya's. Kaya's probably pretty good. Kaya's Raf. Ooh, Oath of Kaya's actually pretty dope, huh? Ooh, Kaya Orzov Usurper is pretty good, huh? The four slot is pretty pricey, but frankly, we can think of Outlaw's Merriment as a seven coster. So our basic win condition is we just, like, control the shit out of the game and make it go on real, real, real fucking long. Um, we need ways to... So, I mean, if I if I just stop and I say, okay, like, let's let's put the Outlaws Merriman off to the side, because we'll, we'll just make some shit out of that. Um... We, we could probably put in another threat to try to win the video game. Uh, you know, like maybe put in Godzilla's or another Ethereal Absolution or some shit. Elspeth Conquers Death is, I think, another very reasonable one to put in. Um, yeah, actually, let me just go ahead and put that in now. This would make us want to pretty quickly run some cheapo planeswalkers or other things that can come back from the dead otherwise this is a little bit of a shitty card however however here's the thing here's what we really want to ask ourselves how do we beat jeskai fires and wilderness reclamation i think that 
that's that's where I'm at right now. That's where I'm at right now. How do we deal with wilderness reclamation, and fires of invention? Because I mean, when I look at this, I look like I am taking a fat dump on anyone who's trying to run a cat oven deck. Oh, Leffa wins. Oh my god. Thank goodness. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. And maybe we, we, we even should run the memory leaks, huh? <laughs> Four is a shitload. I'm a lunatic right now, man. You know, I actually don't think we need this. Cycling on it is spectacularly good. I'll run a third. I mean, even when I'm a control deck that is in the Demir colors, Agonizing Remorse and Thought Erasure, having eight of them does feel a little bit a little bit rough. So where we are low is, I think, pretty clearly Planeswalker removal. Planeswalker removal feels like our struggle. Murderous Rider is a perfectly acceptable solution. But if I ran a b b bad devil, this gets those. Oh, we do have access to DSpark. I think a single copy of DSpark is a nice one to have. A single copy. Angress Rampage. These are our these are our win conditions. I might even put in another Ethereal Lab solution and just like go ham. Boom. Goldfish Hunter says I'm not the best at MTG deck building. Why is just a single copy of D Spark okay? Um, so, so th this actually this deck building one is a really really nice uh, opportunity to do some educationalness about numbers of things. Um, so, for instance, let's take agonizing remorse as a really great example. I I want a lot of this effect, so I put in four of these, right? Um, and so, typically, when you see the number like four. Or a lot of people understand four or zero. I do want it in the deck. I don't want it in the deck. That's where the numbers come from. But then it starts to look a little weird when I'm running, say, oops, two mortifies and two bedevils. However, just look at this and think to yourself, oh, Sean is looking for four kill some shit effects. I just want four kill some shit effects. Then why am I doing two and two? This kills creatures, this kills creatures, but I'm a little worried about enchantments. And I'm a little worried about planeswalkers. So so, so really what I'm doing is I, I'm having four of one core concept, and I'm not sure if I want to kill more planeswalkers or kill more enchantments, so I sort of split it in two. And then similarly, if I start to say to myself, man, I really wish I could have five agonizing remorses. I want five agonizing remorses. Or maybe I want five sweeper effects that just kill everything. Well, 
I could put in four Kaya's Wrath and one Shatter the Sky, or I could do three Kaya's Wrath and two Shatter the Sky. Ah, uh, how do I kind of, kind of, how do I kind of do it? You know. So I'm sort of splitting it across Extinction Event and Kaya's Wrath because there are a whole lot of things that feel good to exile. Uro feels good to exile. Catub and shit feels good to exile. But part of me maybe even thinks that this is an incorrect uh, numberage, right? Like two and three. Maybe I just want one and four. Maybe I want one and three. But I, I tend to think of things in terms of really blunt, basic groupings, right? Like sweepers. And this Cry of the Karnarim, Karnarim is very clearly for Catub and Dex. Like very, very clearly um, cat oven shit. shit. Um, I want single target removal. Yeah! And to spark, why one de spark? Because I am looking to, again, do a little bit of overlapping stuff. Ooh, I need, a, I need to hit some planeswalkers and some creatures and some enchantments. De spark kind of does all of that. So it kind of fits into my stack of five because I think I kind of want five creature removery effects. I also want to make sure I have enough Enchantment destruction, and if I reorient these, destroy all the four cost enchantments. Wilderness Reclamation fires, destroy an enchantment, destroy all non land permanents. So you're starting to see that, like, this is kind of how I'm going. Uh. And frankly, I'm also saying to myself, fuck, I think I might be a little bit low on the enchanty removal. I might want a second D spark. So the funny thing about Mardu as a, as a color choice to pick is that it's very, very easy to over-removal yourself. And then you wind up with no value. You wind up not being really able to do much of anything. Goldfish Hunter says, So what I'm right in saying, it's not just about the soul card consistency, but all about the consistency and the effects they bring. Yeah! A lot of deck building is... Um, God, the, the, uh, again, one of my favorite books, The Art of Learning, talks about the idea of the way that as you build expertise, you start to see things as relationships. Like, a new player in chess will go, this is a pawn, and this is a bishop. These are two different pieces. But there is something called fee and shadowing a bishop, which is a place that you specifically put the bishop to be able to support pawns in the middle. And a, a, an expert tends not to think about it as a pawn here and a bishop here. They just see the interaction. And this is what um, a lot of strong magic players have explained to me that really helped to break it down, is that they're not thinking about how good is an individual card. They're saying, I, I feel like I need about four targeted creature removal and about four targeted, or let's say about five targeted enchantment removal. So they do these splits of these weird looking numbers that start to make a ton of sense. Like, in terms of single target removal, creature. Fuck you. Creature, creature, creature. You know, like this. All right, so let's rearrange these things a little bit. I really want Yadaro in here. Is Comcast shitting the bed again? Man, fuck Comcast. God. Then I call them and they're just like, I don't know, what are you going to do? Oh, that sure stocks. Oh. Is there a splashing mythos of Nethroi? Oh, oh yeah, I need Abzan if I want to do this. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's just a little hard for me to run those three colors. And I really want to run Ruinous Ultimatums. Yadara does just seem like a fun-ass card to run. How would I fit it in? I would probably cut one memory leak. That seems good. Nice. All right, so we should have 25 lands with a skew towards white and black. Just a smidgen of red.
Okay, so let's do Triome. Savai. Craft them. Don't even care. And then we want a uh, Sacred Foundry. Godless Shrine. Blood Crypt. Oops. Blood Crypt. How do these numbers work again? Yeah, that's fine. I do this one. That's right, I did three, and then I did two of the main colors. Then I did two, one, one, huh? Ah, let's see here. So, Fabled Passage in the number of three. Temple of Silence, a little bit of this. And then... Get something cool looking. Ba -da. I don't have enough for the birth of Miletus, do I? I don't I think it's fine to run less than the desired number. Maybe even a pair of these is fine. Yeah, I think I think that's right. That one's sweet. So now I have two slots freed up for this. Um 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 uh, um dum 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 dum. I think I just need another planes. <laughs> okay, so this should be 26 Landos. Nice. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes, we did it. Let's play best of one. What's the deck's win condition, man? We have Godzilla's. We have Outlaws Merriment. Would running a Castle Arden Vale be wrong in this deck? I think. I think. Yeah. I think it would be. The the sort of the sort of pickle in which we live is that um, we want all the dual lands, right? We want all of these. Fucking gutter bones, am I right? We want all the dual lands and all the triomes, just to make sure that we have the mana base that we need. But then we need to have enough planes in here enough basic lands to hit with our Birth of Miletus and our Fabled Passage. I think three Fabled Passage is too many. I think I, need, I still need two. You love to see it. You love to see it. I can't tell a lie, man. Show me what you got. What's in here, man? What do you got, Talrum? Got a little Cry of the Carnarium here for funsies. Love to see it, huh? This is good. This is good. This is great. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Yeah, you know what? Looks and sounds good to me. Now, the funny thing is, in the graveyard, there is a single Rixmadi Revala. Rixmandi is really good. Don't think I'm not going for it. Don't think I'm not going for it. This is nice. This is nice. Yeah, go ahead and sack it. 
Yeah, see, look at this. I have all of my awesome little buddies. Ooh. I mean, Cry of the Carnarium absolutely takes a dump on Tolerant Man. Absolutely does it. Welcome back. Do your worst. This this looks like a win. Penavarius says you should always sack in response to cry. Why wouldn't you? Um, well, the wonderful, wonderful aspect. Oops. I should have blocked the other one. This, I keep forgetting this guy's death touch. I always think it has lifelink. Because it gives life when it comes to life. Let's get the lifelink around. Okay, Trampler's fine. Uh, Cry the Carnarium reads, Exile all creatures in all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. If a creature would die this turn, exile it instead. So you essentially always, always hit it. So when I cast this right now, what's going to happen is that Talrum is going to lose this cat due to a sacrifice and gonna bring it back and then kill it again and then bring it back and then we're just gonna keep roasty toasty yeah so see all those guys that went to the graveyard get exiled so our opponent lost some opportunities to deal some damage Oh, if you're saying, should you sacrifice in order to get the tokens, the food tokens? Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Fur, 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 fur. Luris into our good friend, uh, Rix Madi Reveille. Did you get a haircut? I didn't. Well, I, d I trimmed my sideburns. That's why it is kind of looks a little weird here. Any chance we could fit a couple of divine visitations in this deck? Ah, those slots are already taken up by Godzilla Craid. See you later, alligator. Yeah, look at this. Look at all this food. This is, you know, it's fun stuff. It's fun stuff. Look at look at the advantage we're getting. <laughs> all right. Uh, for any of you who don't know, Comcast uh, is a terrible internet service provider. Inconsistent, very weak customer support, consistent drops throughout the entire history of me having them. Uh, but I'm having a blast here. I'm having a blast in the game. Dude, getting Godzilla into this was pretty cool feeling. Pretty cool feeling, you know? I'll be I'll be trying to change ISPs soon, so good luck to us. Great. Yeah, the, the reason why I'm uh, particularly frustrated with Comcast is I've had great customer service experiences with them. I've had following the great customer services really terrible customer service experiences, and, and I'll, I'll I'll say what I've been saying historically, which is. I truly do not expect, under almost any circumstance, that an ISP will be up all the time. I think it's only reasonable for it to go down sometimes, right? Like, just given my understanding of how technology works. But... The thing 
thing that that is oh farts huh I forgot about the flash decks that are quite popular we'll have to think through how to deal with that ouchies wouchies Um, but but the the sort of issue that I have uh, historically is just it's just a really nasty customer service experience. So for instance, um, I was told after basically spending hours and hours and hours and hours in the period of time post. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd shocked this in. I think I should have shocked this in instead of playing the planes. I think that was a, I think that was a mistake. I think that was a mistake. I needed to shock in this blood crypt so that way I can increase the probability of being able to cast the bedevil. But yeah, I mean, basically, this is they run put me in touch with a corporate account manager because there's a lot of people staying home as a result of coronavirus. We want to make sure that everyone whose business is being affected gets taken care of. And the guy literally told me, dude, you're just going to wait it out and you're going to get bad speeds. That's like literally the guy on the phone was like, yeah, you know, it's just you, there's nothing that can be done. There's literally nothing that can be done, period. So, yeah, that's, that's why we have laggy internet is the end of the road of the experience of talking to Comcast and Xfinity was you know what the internet sucks right now it's just gonna suck and so I'll be delightfully abandoning them soon now is the right thing to do to just I think maybe I just try to do a couple of these should get countered Did you give me some kind of refund? No. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Th th this is after I had the experience where I said, hey, my internet speeds are really slow. And they had just, without any notification, just bumped me to a lower plan while I was still paying for a higher plan. So I upgraded. I upgraded to the... Okay, we can actually do some good stuff here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit. I can't actually do that. Okay. We're, I'm going to need to wait. And if we get Frilled Mystic, we'll just Kai's Wrath. This game is going to be long. Long! to like really play against this well. I mean, maybe I just don't have enough instant speed spells in my deck in general. Whatever, hands up. Not gonna deal with it. Just counter me, it's fine. Just counter me. Or draw a card. Yeah. I gotta, I actually gotta do some tuning here. You know, I don't actually think we need this extinction event. 
Putting these in the side is good for now. You know, I'm actually going to try to go up with the memory leaks. That's what I'm going to do. Memory leak. Bing, bang. And then let's cut one of these and put in one of these, huh? One man of cycling is really nice. Try clearing instead of cry. Uh, the, the cry of the Carnari miss for the cat of in France. Why aren't you playing uh, Starry Mystic? Starry Mystic is not really a good card. That's that's really the short, long and short of it. Um, Starfield Mystic, uh, like, we're a control deck, and Starfield Mystic doesn't make sense in a control deck is really the big thing. Yeah, Chronos Pre-Show is a show that will be on JP's channel, not on my channel. We're basically just going to hop on and chat about stuff. As broad and bland as stuff may sound, that's what we're going to be dedicating ourselves to. Gigantha the Wellspring, huh? That is a very ambitious turn one play. That is an extremely ambitious one, because if I just played like a Croxa or an Uro, I would just have a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Pass. Pass. Ah. What now, friends? Oh, look at this. Someone hates Cat Oven. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I don't... Yeah, I mean, I feel like this land is really good. Part of me was like, maybe keep it back for the cycling. Everyone hates Cat Oven, man. Everybody! <sighs> Hit me. Ooh, ah. Then I think we have a relatively simple, um, you know, guy's wrath coming up. <laughs> Rock yo body right. <clears throat> do I do something or do I do nothing? I think I do something. I think just like showing me what you got is a good is a good opportunity here. know what friends is trying to do but you know we can get to a point where some good stuff happens <laughs> we, we you know we can see some pretty cool stuff coming up snap decks uh, nice that's pretty cool Be a little bit careful with our healths in this game. Green always felt better at healing. You know what I mean? Green always just felt better at healing, man. Alright, show me what's up here. Some parrots. We got it. Ba -da 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 
I did it. I think we're gonna be up against a pair of porky parrots, huh? Alright, so this this is a bit of the, the issue. Is I think Porky Parrot can just like kill us if it mutates and something good. This looks like uh, our opponent's doing Marty Mutate. Could we play Zerda as a companion in this deck? I guess, my god, we could. We could play Zerda, couldn't we? It's actually pretty good value, huh? Anything? Nothing? Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. All right. That's yours, man. All right, looks like our opponent discarded the hand. We're gonna lose Outlaw's Merriment, but... Oh wait, Captive Aud Audience is awful with Ruinous. You know it, Lumos, but we're doing it anyways. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, friends hates playing against Cat Oven decks. Zerda doesn't work with a chance. Let me actually... Zerda! Uh... Each permanent card in your starting deck has an activated ability. Fuck. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's right. Oh, we're gonna get some zombies. Cool. Four damage to creature planeswalker. All right, great. That's fine. Got it. We did it. All right, my jank beat their jank. Excellent. Excellent. Casual deal 26 damage with the captive audience. That felt pretty cool. <laughs> All right. What to do? Maybe I want to lock Thwain. I mean, that feels a little dangerous. Ah, it feels a little dangerous. Feels a wee bit dangerous. I think if you take a castle, it's probably Ardenvale. Yeah, that, that does seem quite reasonable. Alright, the hand looks good. Can't I, I'm struggling to cast these bedevils. Quite a bit. But that's okay. Speaking of struggle. Oh we, we, we do have the advantage of instant speeds. Okay, it's totally okay. <laughs> Fuck. I uh, I definitely have too many expensive enchantment things, but I don't give a shit. That's awesome. Captive out audience is not as good.
Get him! No, no. Ooh. Ah. Does help. Let's get rid of whatever is the most scary in there. Alright, that's good. We're gonna take a lot of damage. We're actually gonna get pretty forking low. But that's okay. No. Ah. Ugh. Ah. Bing, bang, bong, pow, boom. Oink, oink. Untapped land would be quite nice. Not a chance. This'll do. See him. Land. I love land. Shoot her. Let's assume that Roxas in has no place. <laughs> oh, who has plays? Let's actually begin to compose a sideboard, shall we? Who does that? So I think rather clearly, this... Whoa, whoa! Captive audience is the stupidest card we're running. So, Cry of the Carnarium. Yeah, Cat Oven Hatred, perfect. Sporks feel pretty good. These actually feel really good, huh? What about Leyline of the Void instead of Cry? Um, Cage. Let me just think for a moment. Uh, let's see. God, I, okay, I always, I always fuck this up. Uh -huh. Yeah, Graftigger's Cage shuts down our Godzilla. But it's like, one of Graftigger's Cage and Leyline of the Void doesn't interact with Gyruda. Is, is it like Graftigger's doesn't interact with Gyruda? I think it's Leyline doesn't interact with Gyruda. I, I always mix those two up. Okay. 
Let's do some. So th these will be really good against some of the thick decks. Some of those thick. You know, I might even put in three to sparks. That seems pretty nice. The extinction event is good. Duress is always fine. Dur duress. Oh my god, duress. I always want to put lots of R's in duress. Let's uh, let's do this art this time. Let's put in a pair of these. Uh, one of my favorite cards, Thought Distortion. Hmm. restroom. I, I need to think for a little bit. I need to think for a little bit, but I do need to use the restroom. Yeah, we are, we are shut stuff down. I don't know. Like, there's... Yeah. I, I am... Let's see here. If we're up against... Our statement is, if we're up against control deck, we have a lot of discard effects. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do we do about our sideboard? am unsure what the remainder of the sideboard should be. You know... just don't like these Bertha Miletuses. It's messing with our mana a little bit, because now I can go back to three of this. And I think this actually feels a little better. 20, oops, sea daisies.
There it is. I feel like we don't even really need that. Need that one. I mean, actually, maybe, maybe, maybe. Just some scorching dragon fires. Scorching dragon fires. Scorching dragon fire actually just feels correct, huh? Put on a little ease. Yeah. You know what? Let's let's use the a little bit of red red awesomeness here, huh? Kahiri. Oh yeah, each creature card is a cat elemental. Yeah, man, why not? <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, man, why not? What's our last one? Huh? I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put in yet more removal. <sighs> do I... Do I... Maybe I do actually need a... Um, Graph Digger's cage in here like a pair of them or maybe a trio of them but <sighs> Grafiger's cage feels like yeah I'm, I'm I'm like I'm like not entirely sure we're against actual communism. Oh my god. What a nice looking hand, man. The the one mana cycles here. I need some form of graveyard hate. Um depending upon the matchup, yeah. There is a, two duress is like a it's like a nice number of duress. Oh, dude, I've really sunk in this chair. It's like. <laughs> By the way, see, uh, agonizing remorse hits the graveyard. Memory leak hits the graveyard, so we can like deal with Uro pretty straightforwardly. Abzan. Oh fuck yeah. All right, this this might actually turn out amazingly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, let's take a peek. Cheville. Just gotta be careful that we don't shock in too much. Cycling Godzilla and cycling Memory Leak next turn seems like the obvious play. Cycle our Godzilla, see if we can get like a two mana removal spell. Okay. Our opponent can't 
currently cast Assassin's Trophy, so I'm gonna do that. Fuck. So let's see, we have white, 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 black, black. Another white one seems good. <laughs> this is this is a problem with this card for certain. Dodge this. All right. And now I can't really do anything. <laughs> ah, rats. Rats. Alright, let's see here. Ruinous Ultimatums actually seem... Okay, Captive Audience is bad. Um... Oh my, oh my. I don't think I actually want to change terrifically much out of this puppy. I think probably ditching the D Sparks. Okay, let's see here. I think I want to remove one of these guys. Put in some of these, seems nice. Put in this, seems nice. Assassin's Trophy being an actual communism's deck, you know, it's a pickle. I'm not sure how many extinction events I do want. One's not going to be good enough. Now, now there's a hand. Mm. Uh, probably this one. Assassin's Trophy purely roasts us. All right, lock Thwain into remorse. I'm going to use Assassin's Trophy on Captive Audience. Uh, what happens? Short answer is uh, you cannot do that. Because you can only target something the opponent controls. So I don't even need to try to be sophisticated. Look at that. I just don't know how many even or odd creatures actual communism has. Taking one a turn's fine. Okie dokie. Funnily enough, the sort of mid rangey decks that like do a lot of two for one y stuff will be the ones that we struggle with. The decks that are trying to be a little combo-y and spiky uh, are the ones that we will we will truly and duly shit upon. Am I just gonna like take five here? That might actually be the play. Nice. Let's get a white out of this. 
we actually should change our skew to be a little bit more towards black. We don't need as many planes here. Opinions on building a deck center around Luca's minus two. Could be some fun, juicy shit. You got it. I mean, I'm grateful that I run Godzilla. Grateful for myself. Not enough, not enough proactive, pro, proactive cards. Not enough proactive ones. Let's get that one out. Little peck in value, guys. No problem. Alright, let's just take the three. We'll peek at the hand. <laughs> Fuck, man. I should have waited. Ah, shit. That's yeah, gonna own us. I mean, this does look like Abzan cheap stuff. All right, one a turn, one a turn. Nice, excellent, let's activate this. This guy's got a deck full of Chevelles. Ooh, you hate to see that. Don't we wish we had a Ruinous Ultimatum? Wouldn't that have just been the awesomest? Zoinks, ow. All right, I gotta concede like immediately. Got me. All right, so that that kind of went comically, but we have some ideas. First of all, we're gonna go <laughs> like this. Um, what are some slightly more proactive? Thingies, planeswalker. Something that can just generate infinite value if protected. What, what, what about the gold ones? King Caesar. Caesar. Oops. Dum 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 dum. Alright, here here are some thinks that I have. I actually don't know what to think about this thing. I do think I should have boarded that in against our opponent. I think Captive Audience is hilarious and not what we want. I actually think a second Ethereal Absolution would would go well, because then I can actually just leave that one in. I'm going to change too much. know what to think about that experience. I don't know what to think about that experience, because there's just not a lot of decks like that. Let's hang on to this one. Le Russe of the Dream Den. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, very much so. Uh-oh. Try to get the white one. Let's try to get that one out. The we see 
some foxes. Is this? Oh my. Oh, how I, how I twit have twished to gone second. We pretty much lose to turn one flourishing fox, huh? Well, I can remove some of them. But these guys are going to get real big real fast. <laughs> uh, that's bad. We actually played this deck a few days ago. And getting these guys out early really, really hurts us quite, quite badly. That's all she wrote. All right. So this this is a very 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 odd matchup. So we don't want anything slow at all. This is like the only thing we have that can do anything. <laughs> Heartless act sucks here. Wow. I mean, gee golly gosh. Scorching Dragonfire does something. We'll look in the hand and dress some stuff and like maybe thought. Distortion? Wow, we really don't do anything against our opponent's deck, huh? I don't know, one of these. Well, I guess the robber of the riches could be could be very good. Could be very good. D Spark, we gotta get out. Um I think this is it. Shouldn't cry be good? I wouldn't really do anything. I mean, in this matchup, Leyline would actually be pretty sick. Leyline would be pretty sick. That's an interesting one. Did I cut my cry? The kind I should cut the cry. Yeah, maybe, maybe we want the Leylines. Maybe. I don't like Leyline of the Void that much, though. Ah, I really don't. Oopsie daisies. Oopsie dipsy daisies. Alright. Plan worked. So I, I really don't want these. Does anything else in this fucking sideboard help? Maybe actually Ethereal Absolutions would be good. I mean, most of our cards are terrible. White Leyline prevents you from being hit by Solar Flare. There's actually some merit to the idea of doing some of this Leyline stuff. I mean... I have, I have ten cards that attack the hand. I have ten. Ten cards that attack the hand. Alright, this is fine. Ten cards that attack the hand. So if I just hang on to something like this... I mean, if it's cycle, cycle, we just roast it. Alright, cycle. Alright, we do it on our main, because this could cycle and get bigger later. We were doing it! Do you mean uh, in this matchup? Yeah, in this matchup, like, we have a lot of creature removal, and they just, like, don't really cast creatures. Yeah, you got it. Get it out of there. Alright, let's start cracking these. Bam! <laughs> Man says, whoop, back in gold, Winota for the win, man. Winota is gross. We, we can actually do okay versus a Winota deck. Well, this kind of sucks. Dronith Stinger! Oh, this is hilarious, man. Salt Road Patrol actually may have made you the mistake -y. Yeah, 
Yeah, I tragically removed captive audience from the main. I do this, and then I cycle this, and then I cycle this, and I attack. It's a lot of shitload of single target removal here. Maybe I shouldn't have kept the six lander, but you know, felt pretty good. Oh fuck! All right, anything here, huh? Let's try to minimize the amount of damage on this turn. I'm not entirely sure, because I think that this is the one I'm going to do anyways. Yeah. Yep. We're going to get pretty low here. Jules says, seems like we could use a Planeswalker 2 as a value engine. Yeah. That does, that does feel right, huh? You know what? Let's take the damage. We're going to be up against a Lurus and a Fox, so we, we kind of need the Kai's Wrath. Hmm. Yeah, and then we're going to get, like, if I, if I just peel the Kai's, you know, maybe we can win this. Oh, my opponent didn't want to play the Dranit Stinger. That's pretty tight. Nice. Ooh, Football Crater. I forgot about that one. Well, we lost. All right. Doing a lot of just sort of cycling through land and not doing anything at all. Which is sad. It's a sad, sad state of affairs. But I do think, I think we just need, we got some more Planeswalker, you guys. Let's, let's feel pretty good. Can we have cycled for another chance? Wow, yeah, you're totally right. Listen, this has just been a bad week for me, wall to wall. It's been it's been not a great week. So let's just let's just shrug our shoulders and you know, what are you gonna do? Uh some some skilly lilies feel like they might be a little juicy here. Yeah, you know what? This actually feels really good. I, l I fucking love this Planeswalker. She's she's actually really nice and solves a lot of the issues we've been having. We can get one of these out. Um, How many Landos do we have? We have 26 Landos. We might not need 26 Landos. Should do want this. Uh, one of these has got to go. One of these has got to go. Let's get you in there, Elfbeth. There are tactics here, Renee. If I had humans, I'd be happy with it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that, I mean, I just, I love this card. She's just, she's just wonderful. She's just a beautiful little card here, man. We can also just ditch this card, I think, entirely. I think if we just pull that card out entirely, things just start to feel a little bit more sensible, right? Right. Actually... I think I think a pair, a pair of these actually felt right. Like six target the hand cards feel right. Six six feel nice. Six feel nice. Six feel nice. Oh, by the way, don't feel too bad for me. It's not the, the, you know when I say I'm having a rough week, life's pretty good. Life's actually pretty good. There's stress in the air, however. I can cast my Bedevils. I can beat the Bedevil out of it. Or against Karuga, the Macro Duga. Show me what you got! Do you feel the same? Mmm. 
Mr. Payne says, Hey, Sean, I sub because you're contagious positivity and because I would like some advice. I've been in IT for just under a year, and in that time, I think I made it from a frontline rep in our network operations, or I made it from a frontline rep into our network operations center. I just found out my role is being converted to a new team that is essentially functioning as a frontline for the entire company instead of being divided by department. And I'm lucky to have a job that still feel like something is being taken away. Oh, dude, I... Oh, fuck, I can't cast Godzilla. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's just... A lot of phases in career steps that oh that just don't feel like forward progress and I think that's just a, a one of those challenging things to get used to it's just a challenging thing to get used to I think I want white and if I Elspeth then yeah I think this is actually fine I'm gonna go ahead and Elspeth right now if my opponent wants to spend the entire turn killing this off, I think I'm okay with that. But anyways, um, yeah, because I mean, there's a lot of forward progress things that exist before then. I am a sophomore in college, now I'm a junior in college, now I'm a senior in college, now I'm on to the world, and I'm an associate, and now I'm a regular level, and now I'm a senior level, and then so on and so on and so on and so on. But like, my, my career has had like a lot of this. <laughs> Has <laughs> had like a lot of like, whoa, whoa, don't do that. Oh, I should have done the white one because I have bedevils. Fuck. Damn. I've had some crazy up and downs. And I, I would encourage you not to stress too much about it. What I might describe it as is like learn both the techniques to reassure yourself and to feel okay. Au revoir. Learn the techniques to reassure yourself and to feel okay. One, two, three, four. No, it doesn't matter. And then also, um, comfortably seek out new, cool, awesome things. But I would just encourage you pretty hard with respect to uh, things are shitty, man. Really, just don't even worry about it. It happens to everyone. There's no permanent step back. There's no frustration or anything like that. And, you know, I, I also, too, kind of am not the biggest fan of when people, say, try to do... Um, yeah, get the fuck out of it. Try to do... Agony comparison? You know what I mean? When they try to, like... Well, I mean, I just cut a finger off, and you cut your whole foot off, so, I mean, really, I shouldn't complain. I think everyone should get a little bit of support. Everyone should get a little bit of support, man. And you say, yeah, you know, I feel like I should be grateful to have a job. It's okay to both be grateful and be frustrated. You can experience those at the same time. It's not that you have to be frustrated or you have to be... How did, How is it my turn? Did I not... What? Alright, I, I, something, something went wrong. I was trying to do this. There we go. No! Oh, Ugh! That's some bad bone crushing. short on the block mana go ahead go ahead shock it and play Karuga this is why Kai's Wrath is nice compared to Shadow of the Sky because our opponent can't draw I think Dawn of Hope is just it's just too slight of a value play Ugh. Let's look at this first. Show me what you got. Great. Seems as good a time as any. 
to just get this out of here. I love when I see that scry to the bottom. I think I hold on to this because this, I, I, like my deck benefits enormously from cycling. It's a very bad bird. Yes, you can. I'll do white landies. Did I count this right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is actually still better. Kuru. See, our opponent doesn't have enough red land to, like, play a hasty fellow and get enough damage. Alright, let's get our opponent the opportunity to make a mistake. This looks like desperation, and in a way it is. Perfect. If we, if we can beat Jeskai Fires, we can beat anything. Scorching Dragonfire is a little bit low value. Ethereal Absolution is low value. Cry of the Carnarium is low value. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Robber the Rich is extremely high value. D Sparks are extremely high value. I think I actually get rid of all the Kaya's Wraths, maybe. Because our game plan is basically single target removal early on, right? Elspeth doesn't seem like the best. I think this is a good sideboarding plan. I don't think this actually hits enough. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, it's a good stretch, Sheriff. Yeah, hello. Oh, she wants tummy time. Uh, emergency. We have to play a game, and we also have tummy time. What to do? This is an excellent starting hand. We have two cyclers, an agonizing remorse, a D spark, a heartless act. I mean, this this is an incredible opening hand. This is like one of the, one of the types of two land hands that I am always like, oh thank God. At least we have a two lander. So our biggest goal is to attack. Um, interesting. This 
Legion War Boss does not actually affect us terrifically much, so. Hmm. I really want to cycle, but I also really want to take out Narset. Narset just like cycling cards is bad for us. The the less options Matojo has, the better off we are. Okay, so first things first. We cycle Godzilla. Second thing, second, we burst into tears. Right? Just, bur just burst into tears? That's a good one? That's the move? This is relatively trivial to deal with, but, um, you know, not drawing land when you have some cyclers in the opening hand. You know, it sucks. Um, we did remove our sweepers, but it's fine. How many lands do I have? 26. I have, I have a really good amount of lands. And also s 10 cyclers, so... Goldfish Hunter says, oh my god, I just looked up Phyrexian Obliterator. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh, that's a good one. Alright, let's go ahead and cycle. Discard a card. Probably the 7 mana destroy everything effect. Doesn't do much to us right now. Kinda, kinda still need land. Hey, it was that easy. Let's go ahead and take this out. I think the D sparks are a really strong play. I think maybe I want three D sparks in the side though. We just might get there. Whiffing on land for a lot, lot, lot of turns in a row does suck. Above all else. Does suck. Does it feel good? No. <laughs> uh-uh. I really like the Elspeths in this. Elspeths feel really nice. Consider the future. And then nothing chucked. Then strike. Nothing chucked. No harm, no foul. No. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. Let's take a peek at this thing. And probably just play the robot of the rich. Oh shit. Alright, well. Not the most I can do about that. Not the most I can do about that, you know. If you don't draw it, you don't draw it. Okay. I love that what my cat does every day is just cook. She just goes to the window and she just she just is warm there forever. That's all she ever tries to do is be warm. It's it's wonderful. This is great. Play first. Okay. Okay. Ultimatum goes to the bottom. Need the black mana more, more generally. So we should be a little careful with when we wind up playing some of these because we have seen our our little buddy eagerly run out. The Legion War boss. So go ahead and put a stop there. So that way we can put a stop to Matojo. Okay. 
Great. Do I really want an Elspeth here? I think so. I think I do want an Elspeth for the following reason. It's more mana efficient, which is good. But if my opponent does have a fires, my opponent's at four mana. So we can uh, mortify and be up against either this bone crusher or a little flying sphinxy. up against things like this. That that would be very, very nice. Yeah, I don't see a reason why not. Tiny bing bongs. Prime subscription's only valid for a month. Yeah, tricky snake. I think, frankly, I think it's really reasonable that they only last one month. Um, because it would be way too easy to do, like, Mom, Mom, you never use Amazon, but just get Amazon Prime and sign up for me and give me money. You know, and there'd be, like, money laundering schemes and shit. It would be way too easy. Um, but you can re-up them once a month. You can re-up them. It's really interesting. I remember having someone explain to me the sort of like ways in which money laundering happens. There's just like all sorts of crazy ways. It's nuts. Tiny Pants subs with Twitch Prime and says, thanks for the reminder. You're the biggest pants in my heart, Tiny Pants. <laughs> I think our little deck is doing something. Was he giving you advice, Sean? He was, Sirocco. I mean, uh, what I think a lot of you already know, I mean, I'll say it, but like you already know this, which is that I uh, have a substantial, whew, substantial drug operation, as you well know. So I have to figure out how to launder the money. That's the thing. I don't even, I don't even like really do much more. I think I do this first. Let's see if we can maybe get a Lando. Lando would be nice for the Elspeth. You only have to exile four for the Elspeth. Not enough exile effects. Let me get rid of this. You want to keep that? <sighs> the tragedy of my death has only strengthened my life. Tragedy of Dark Plague is the wise. And all who seek justice. Uh, who cares? <sighs> Goodbye. Uh, and then Karuga comes down. Fuck, that is brutal. I think maybe it was a mistake not to be saving the Mortify for the Spires of Invention. Maybe that's what was going wrong. I mean, if, if I just draw a Ruinous Ultimatum, like right here, I think we, we have one in the... No, no, that was last game. So there, there's like a 2 in 47 chance. I think a single block seems reasonable here.
that is just one turn late. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna concede, concede indeedy do. That was that's a bit painful, but I still think okay. I think I should need to be a little bit more aggressive about the pick offens, and maybe I should not have boarded out the Kaya's Wraths. I boarded out all of them. Yeah. Let's give it another shot. Let us fight again. Ah, nice. Play first. Nice. Oh my god, we can't lose this one anymore. You, this. Alright, great. We're against another Jeskai Fires. Perfect. Perfect. I think maybe we're okay with this. I think we're maybe like sort of okay with this. So we want to play the black sources. If I can just really aggressively target that enchantment, I think that we are in super dandy dandy shape. This guy is actually such a fucking pain in the ass, though. Like, Karuga just guarantees that the Jeskai Fires deck can... Holy shit, look at that hand. Yikes! This, this is also a reason why Outlaw's Merriment sucks. You know, if I actually just cut all the Outlaw's Merriment and just put more Planeswalkers in, I think our deck would be, like, way the hell better. This isn't a fight you can Come on, Minus. You know you wanna. Ah, balls. Might be a bad idea. A jerk. Alright. It's only a matter of time. Ah, come on, man. Ah, oh. Scotch says we have this realization every time we use mirror. Man. I wouldn't say it a realization. It's just like it's just a gut wrenching, bone crushing truth that I don't, I do not even want to look in the eyes. Suppose we should get a white mana here, huh? And we have triple white. We have double black, triple white, double red. Perfect. Oh my God! Fuck! You have got to be kidding me! Fuck! Ah! Boo, 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 boo. Oh my god. Well, the good news is that this is at least protected. Man, D Spark's a nice little card, man. Trust me, I have a plan. We may win this yet. Just pass. Just pass the turn. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Oh my god. Fuck. I want to burst into tears. I just want this damn, damn, damn thing to work for once. Captive audience would actually be better than Outlaw's Merriment. Much as I hate to say. Yes, 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 yes. Shoot her. I mean, I'm so low on health. I'm dead. I fucked up. Alright. I made some mistakes. Want me to face this guy's gonna come time. back, so I gotta, like, do this. Then I'm gonna do this. 
dude, we're gonna win because this guy didn't draw land. And that's the, the my favorite way to win ever. Alright, it's your turn. Go ahead and play your Brazen Borrower. Just do it. See if I care. No, See if I, I care, Boz. Wow, well, Boz didn't even do it. Boz choked. Out of Boz. Boz is out of hope. I can't believe we're winning. I can't believe we're winning. I can't believe we're winning! Yes! Shoot this! Shoot him! Yeah! Oh my god, everyone, we're doing no it. No more games! No more games! Please don't have a Bone Crusher Giant. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Here comes the second one. Who's getting overwhelmed? Boz is. There it is. Brazen Borrower. Here I come. It's me. I'm late. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh huh. Isn't that hilarious when you just don't draw what you want to draw? But here I am. Just drawing what I need to draw because I'm the best. Whew. Attack me. Ugh. Watch this. We're gonna get a pinger. Bye. You love to see it. You know, I'm actually just gonna keep getting the mana. And I can cycle this, but I can also do this and draw. Don't even speak to me. Don't even don't even look at me. Turn off the stream. Turn off the stream. It's not my week. It's not my week. I just want to hold the power button. I just want to hold the power button. Fuck. Alright, well. Let's get rid of these ones. Let's put in these ones. Let's get rid of these ones. Let's put in these ones. Let's take these out. Get in four of those, so probably I hate to cut it, but I'm gonna cut it. <sighs> I just forgot that Lock Wayne deals a damage to me, and that I was within lethal range. <sighs> The biggest of sighs, the biggest of pains. The agony. Zephyr says, Dana, do you feel like your experience with math, scientific reasoning has inclined you more towards gaming, or was it the other way around? I feel like StarCraft II MTG synergized well with the skill set present in those areas. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people that like and play games. Um who have a lot of different interests in a lot of fields. So, you know, I don't know. I just think it's, like, games are really popular. Is maybe the only thing I would draw from that. And also, I feel like in all... Like, all fields can have positive influence and impact in other fields. God, this card fucking sucks. Teferi ruins everything. I mean, that's really the issue, is it's Teferi. It's just Teferi sucks. I think I just need more Waka Waka Wakas. You know what I mean? What, what are the good Planeswalkers in the Mardu colors? There's Lily and Elspeth. And those ones are quite excellent. I think I quite enjoy them. Tiberius says, what is the chance, given you have two Merriments, that at least one of the tokens you create is the Pinger? 
Oh, God. Well, you know what? Why not? Let's just do this. I look forward to being bounced. See, if that if that were an Elspeth, I would just summon a pair of 1-1s. One -ones. Yeah, Gideon. Gideon's good. Gideon's good. But yeah, the the easiest way to say what's the chance of there not being or of there being a pinger is you compute the chance of there not being a pinger. So it would be a two thirds chance of the first one not being a pinger. Multiply by a two thirds chance of the second one not being a pinger. And that is what I got for the day. Two thirds times two thirds. So it would be a five ninths chance for pinging and a four ninths chance for the other one. Liliana, Big Chandra, and Gideon. Mother fucker. I swear to God. That enchantment is so terrible. All right. Get me out of here. We're burning it down. We're burning it down. We're burning it all down. We're just going to build the deck that we know will be a better deck. All right. One, two, three, four slots have now opened up. Skilly Lily. It's going to be the one. Yeah, all right. Perfect. Doesn't it just look better already? Doesn't it just look better already? Elfith Conqueror of the Death also appears to have some merit and space to fit in. I do not need this. I'm feeling pretty good on the low end front. This card is just hilarious, so I kind of want to keep that one. I think a pair of Elspeths is good. Yeah, something like this. So if we rearrange this a little bit. We have some pricey high ends here, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pricey guys. Uh, if I were trying to make this like way more legit, I'd probably cut the captive audience for sure. Something like this seems fine. Marto of X any ramp cards? Not really. I don't think Godzilla does much for this deck. Yeah, it might. It really might not be doing terrifically much, but it cycles and it's pretty fun. Meh.
Yeah, you know, like uh, if I remove the Godzillas and just put in Gideon Blackblade, that could be that could be an alternative. Gideon Blackblade is actually pretty pretty good in our our good friend in the meta game right now. Yeah, I'm devastated that Outlaw's Merriment just never works, man. Get that one out. I have reached my limit. No card draw for you under the sun. Dum -da -dum -dum -dum. Um, -da -dum -dum -da -dum. Show me what you got, and let's get rid of this guy. I have other schemes to attend to. Ah! Uh, yeah, our our buddy has no black mana right now, so that seems good. See if we can get another Heartless Act and main phase it. Not a Heartless Act, a uh, Discardio effect. Hey, the great Googly Moogly gifting one sub, and then 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 gifting one sub. Fuck yeah, the great Googly Moogly. Having fun with this deck? Ranged minion, it is variable. It, essentially, we have never been more disappointed to run Outlaw's Merriment than today. It's been a real it's been a real pile of garbage. But we're not giving up, we're not surrendering. We We cut them, we put in some other cards that probably are going to be better for us all around. Hey, look. Oh. Still quite sad that it doesn't just make a token on entering the battlefield. Yeah. Whatever you want. Heartless Act is going to go. Mortify is going to go. The Devils are going to stay. Thought Erasures are absolutely fucking lootly going in. Duress is absolutely going in. I think this deck only runs these guys. Yeah, no, go ahead, just make me discard stuff, it's fine. Ooh, and then an Agonizing Remorse, sick. Uh-oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe you could have waited on that one, but, you know, I figured if we hit Planeswalker, it been pretty nice. Our deck appears to be doing the Esper plus Interplanar Beacons to run Nicol Bolas. So basically it has all the good black-blue uh, hand deletion stuff. A couple of the Esper stabilization things like Oath of Kaya. Oh my. Oh my. Hot Esper. Oh yeah, the Lilith. There's the name right there. Some of that hot Esper. Gah, 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 gah. Bleh. Hi, Sheriff. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm witnessing tummy time. It's divine. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Everything's everything's wonderful again. Everything's absolutely wonderful. Waste not, want not. Waste not, want not. That barely sounds like a cat. Yeah. Yeah, Sheriff, Sheriff has always sounded a little bit more like a cartoon character than an actual animal. Well, at least we're going to get to... Ouchie douchies. I think I might concede because we have some tricks on the sideboard. Don't do it. No. Oh. All right, so I, I increasingly think that if we peel back a wee bit on some of the defensive things and put in a little more of the offensive things, we can be good. 
So we don't need things that kill creatures. 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 We would like to remove things from your hand, from your hand, and attack you and shit on your planeswalkers. That was a really nice little sideboarding experience. Shadow Guru says, maybe you can clear this up for me. If Winota's trigger happens to grab a Sky Knight Vanguard, would it then spawn a soldier and re-trigger Winota? Let's take a look at Sky Knight Vanguard. Uh, actually, you know, I'll, I'll explain the reasoning, and then, and then you can look this up, uh, which is there is a difference between whenever something attacks versus something attacking. If I recall, Winota says it enters the battlefield tapped and attacking. So... The state of attacking happens after a, a unit attacks. The ordering is very important. So I believe that the Sky Knight Vanguard summons a 1 1 when it attacks, not when it is attacking. That, that is my understanding, but you can look up. If it says when it attacks him in a 1-1, one, one, if Winota says if it's attacking, this is how you can kind of distinguish between the twos. What do I kill here, huh? Probably this one. I Get rid of the big lady. Again. I'm gonna run out of hand. Yeah, I think if I just if I just mash in a bunch of Gideons. I just mash in some Gideons. That's that's a very nice pickup. Well, this this definitely slows the game down. We just we just hate each other's hands so much. sucks a little bit. <clears throat> what do I do here? I think our opponent has to agonizing remorse first. be more like this deck that just has like a lot of active nifty cards I guess we get rid of this fucking one let your weak minds crumble yeah I, I just have too many reactive cards and not enough proactive cards in here You just add in a few more proactive cards. I'm going to cut the uh, captive audience because I just kind of chucked that in there because it's funny. All right, let's do this again. Hey, cheers, Ice Man. Cheers, Ice. Cheers, Bone Daddy. Well, this does do something. Yeah. Hiya.
Please, please let me double block. Yeah, alright, we did it. Bing and a bomb. Uh. You see, like, if I if I had more proactive thingies, it would help me feel like I am not. Oh, that's actually real nice. I cannot exploit. If you are going to fight, fight beside me. Oops, okay. I can feel that then. That seems good. I will return. Alright. I just need a few more value things. A few more value cards. You are allowed to kill that? Then I'll draw a land and get a nickel bolus anyways, huh? Huh? We may win this yet thanks to this little guy. Fuck. Don't, don't you just feel dumb when you see this card? Well, farts. Like an Atris would be good. Get something. Get something, man. Ah. Uh. All right, I'm I'm conceding and I am building. I I will now build a deck with proactivity. All right. So if we cut this one, I'm kind of interested in Ethereal Absolution as a card, but. Um, you know, I think we actually already have a bunch of stuff that shits upon the other baddies. Godzilla might be a little slow, but I do... I, I am in love with Godzilla. I think the memory leaks have been slow. If I just do something like this... This is more of a proactive, hurt you, have more targets for Elspeth Conquers Death kind of deck. Let's let's, let's try this in best of one for just just a brief moment. Just a brief moment. Ruinous ultimatum just feels so lacking. Oh yeah, we it is it is just not done anything for us. But that doesn't matter, because I never give up. I never surrender. Laris of the Dream Den. Welcome. This is one where I probably would cut the Gideon Black Blades and just mash in a whole bunch of Matching just a whole bunch of uh, try the Carnariums. Fiend Fartisan. Do this. Buff this guy. I am here submit to zero. I will lend you my strength. See, I think that if I put in more Planeswalkers and things that are doing a lot of active stuff, instead of just trying to laser focus on Outlaw's Merriment again... <laughs> then the Ruinous Ultimatum you. suddenly becomes really nice, because I can blow up the entire board on their side. All the while putting pressure on. Yeah, I think th this actually makes sense. And, I, and after after this best of one, I'm going to use the restroom. And we're going to take a long, hard look at the deck. Because I think the, the easiest error to make in both, in both Mardu and Abzan is there's so much excellent removal, you can have a deck with too much removal, too much reaction, and not enough pro-action. Is pro-action a word? Is that even a word? Are we inventing new words? Pro-action. Yeah, that's just like a word. 
Okay. All right, so we're gonna shock this in. Bam, clearing him out. Boom, two for one value, love it. Cracked. Should probably remember to do that on a more frequent basis. Excellent. See, this guy, this, this idiot can't get bounced by freaking stupid, stupid Teferi. That's the reason you can't run Outlaw's Merriman is Teferi, man. It's Teferi, Teferi being quite so scary. Total butt. No! Give me a Lando, man. Let's hit the Landies. Uh, okay. Let's cycle. Landy. Okie dokie. I believe in you, friend. Get in there. Good news is if we ever get enough land, we can ruin this ultimatum everything that Willy May has. All of it. It can just all be gone. Phantom of Aries says, everyone imagines Genesis Ultimatum getting Dracoseth and four raise boars, and instead it just gets you two land and an Uro that sacks itself. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Versus, would Merriment have been too strong if it gave you a token on the turn it's played? Yeah, I think that would have been broken. Yeah, you got it, man. Oh, shit, I thought it was going to the grave. That's my bad. Uh, this looks a little bit weird in terms of timing, but um, I just want this Priest of the Forgotten Gods to maybe, maybe not sacrifice the Serrated Scorpion, because Serrated Scorpion is actually like a lot of damage. up. I think I just messed up. Ah, whatever. Prepare for battle. Alright, time to wait a turn. Get out of there. Uh. Man, I just think the I think the new Godzilla is so awesome. And also, if I had to say why I think that Mardu struggles a lot, I think that Uro and Gross Spiral are just such unbelievably reliable, such like incredibly, incredibly, incredibly reliable ramp and draw. It's really hard to argue against that, you know. Hopefully we have some sort of combination Luris and then a bunch of stuff out of the graveyard. Okay. Yep. And then, and then like a scorpion or something, like a priest, and then a, and then a big boy. All right. This this turned out nicely. No. Whoa. That was 
a good hit. Arguably, I should have swung first. See, this is this is already working just so much better, so much better. Okay, okay, we've done something. I'm gonna use the restroom. I will be right back. 